Welcome back. So today I'm going to go ahead and talk about a keyword called auto. So like this, auto. This is something new in C++ 11. And in C++ 11, it was introduced as a new feature. This allows for the automatic for the automatic detection of variable type. So you don't need to declare it as an int or as a double or something like that. Rather, instead, it can be recognized in an automatic fashion what it actually is. This does shorten the code by a great deal, and it is convenient in a good amount of situations, but it is more difficult to read the code, and there is a lot of dispute whether, C++, whether this should be implemented in C++ or not. The debate is still ongoing, but it has been implemented. Anyway, uh, you shouldn't overuse auto keyword for auto detection. If you have the option, if you are able to declare the variable straight away with the type, then do so. If for whatever circumstances, it is far, far, far more convenient to use the auto keyword and use the auto detection, then feel free. But as I said, uh, declare, declare the types on your own as much as you can for a wide variety of reasons. So if I type in auto x equals 10.5 and line terminator. Okay, so 10.5 is clearly a double, but if I place in auto x, this will be recognized as a double. I don't need to declare it as a double. I can also say auto y is equal, oops, is equal to 10. So this will also be recognized as an integer without me declaring it as an integer. Keep that in mind. So we can initialize these variables in several ways. We can go down and type in int var1 equals 10. So keep this in mind. There are a lot of people who initialize variables in various ways uh, in for different purposes in different codes and you might encounter something like this. I mean, you've seen this regular and standard variable initialization. Uh, this in initialization consists of appending the equal sign followed by the value. Now you have constructor initialization, which is like this, which goes like this, and var2 equals uh, 20. So this is also this is also one way of actually doing it. Uh, sorry, let's just uh, let's just let's just let's just put in ten. This is uh, the ah come on. My apologies. We'll get we'll get to we'll get to the curly brackets. Okay, there we go. My apologies, sorry, just, this is just habit forming and sometimes you make errors. Anyway, it says int var2 and you have parentheses here. This is constructor initialization. And down below you have int var3 and then you have these curly braces. Well, you don't need, sorry, not, not a space here. And you type in 20. I don't know, I've just selected some random values. This is uniform initialization that has been introduced in C++11 and it is recommended for use to initialize variables in this fashion, in this way. So this is what is recommended to do. And this is where the C++ programming language is going to. C++11 is, is like, one of, it's 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 pretty much the newest standard, and you should be focusing on those newest standards. This well, I wouldn't say disregarding or throwing away everything that's old, but just moving in the right direction of the future. There is a reason why these things are being changed. Now we shouldn't overdo it uh, with using auto keyword, as I said, when declaring the type. 
when writing when writing the type is short and does not like consume too much of the code or our time or something like that we should really write the type and only if the writing type is really long or inconvenient for whatever reasons then you should consider using the word auto for example uh the following line or the lines above there these two lines above they're all both of them are pretty much overdoing it and this line auto var six this would this would also be overdoing it i mean why not just type in why not just type in the type of this and say that this is an int and no problem solve it but i mean the user probably wanted a var to be of type int with i don't know the initial value of six so var six integer whose value is var six but that is not int var here is that is type you have some sort of an initialization list that is var of the type of a list with one element and that is the element with the value six the list in certain contexts contexts behaves as an int but it is not an int so you should not overdo it with auto it can cause errors problems etc for you confusion not the best of ideas unless you absolutely need to do it do not do it i've mentioned here lists and lists will be explained somewhere along the way they will be explained but that is a more advanced subject anyway i know that this last part is probably a little bit confusing and i can feel myself i can feel my own i can hear my own speech and i feel that i haven't really explained it to the best of my abilities but i have i have tried in any case that is why i leave the discussion section open and i pay people who are there to answer your questions and to help you out in any way that they can gladly so everything that you did not understand here feel free to post it in the discussion section there are people who will help you out gladly uh, not just people from community in general they will probably help you too but there are also people who are paid to help you out as well that is uh that is one of the benefits of buying uh, these courses anyway uh i bid you farewell here and there will only be one more section well there'll be only be one more tutorial of this chapter where i will talk about comments and then we will be done with this and we'll move on into more advanced examples and see what goes on there probably a little bit more interesting but we'll see how it goes